Today we're going to talk about Gymshark. I ordered some items from their website and this is my second time trying Gymshark. I didn't like the fabric the last time I tried them. I did try the leggings instead of the shorts. I had to place two orders in order to actually get shorts that fit me. Overestimate your inches if you're looking at their size chart. For example, in Lululemon, I can fit a size 4. My most desirable size is probably like a 6 or an 8. I go up to an 8 so I can have room for booty gains. Gymshark, the mediums were a death no. Like, as soon as I got them, three-fourths of the way up my thighs, I was like, this isn't, this is not fitting. We're going to start with this sports bra, which I actually ordered for funsies. I'm actually impressed. There's like a lot of coverage for the boobs and it's not too tight or too loose. This is a medium. It's not very often that I find a sports bra that fits well around my rib cage and has enough room for all of the boobs. I'm not sure about the back just because I do have like folds here, but the rest of it is so good that I'm... I don't really care. And then the straps are adjustable, which is kind of a must. I have them all the way down to the most it can be adjusted. It's also only, I think, $30, $34. So that's a pretty good price, especially compared to Lululemon, which those are my probably most favorite bras. I've had the same issue my entire life, no matter what size I am, the straps are not long enough and they smush my boobs or and or my rib cage because my measurement here, here, and here is apparently so unbelievably incomprehensible to the world of people that make clothes. They just can't figure it out. All right, so these I have no issues with. We're good friends, the color matches the bra. They're fine. I don't need them this long. I'm not a big fan of like this kind of a waistband just because with the seam here and here it tends to not be like the most flattering on my hips but it doesn't look that bad with these. I think it's because they are like, I got a lot of space in here so I think that's probably why it's all right. The There's no sheerness and these I'm not gonna flash anybody accidentally. They have this Nice little V in the butt if that is something you desire. Similar to Lululemon. I don't like this top seam that a lot of shorts are having these days. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Let me get a chair. I'm sure it helps someone, so I have no problem with it. It's just not my favorite. And the reason is because while I still have the same amount of folds, my top fold and my bottom fold when I sit down because that's just normal, the way that the extra seam, like, it's just enough that it, my mental attention drawn to it, I don't look any different based on the fold. I don't need to be extra aware. Hello, Lily. Excuse me. The tightness of these is interesting compared to the last one because it is very compressive. Seems a little excessive for being the same size as the other ones. This extra, I feel, is going to make, one, the shorts hotter. Two, I feel it just makes everything look really wide. So it's a no from me. Also, as usual, I'm probably going to get a wedgie with this extraness. I am the wedgie queen. If there can be a wedgie to be had... I will have the wedgie. I had to show a pic of the two-in-one shorts as pictured on Gymshark's website because the shorts honestly just don't make sense to me. The inseam appears to get longer as the size increases, which is not necessarily helpful. Just because I need more hip space does not mean I need more length. These are supposed to be a 5-inch inseam, but these shorts actually fit how an 8-inch inseam fits me. I need to explain these is it's it's just a no it's a no for me you know what I mean now these these are like they're very 
they're not see-through. I like this waistband a lot because it just feels very soft, like it's hugging me. There's no digging in anywhere, but it's also not as compressive as some of the the ones with the really tight undershorts and the flowy overshorts. That was very tight and I think even higher than this. The length of these is nice. It has a little scrunch detail right here. I feel these on my body, out of all of the ones that I've tried, are the most even in the sizing in terms of it not being too tight here or here or down here. In that way, I almost feel they're better than the Lululemon bike shorts because the Lululemon bike shorts, they feel like they're loose in my waist. I wear an eight in those and they're really tight on my legs, which doesn't really make sense. Those shorts expand a lot. So you would think if they're a little loose here, you would also make it a little looser here. Cause usually if you're a certain size in the hips, your legs aren't twigs, but I don't know. Lululemon assumes everyone's legs are twigs based on what I've tried on from them. So. There's no weird top seam. It's very just, there's lines here. It's very seamless. I think the whole thing is seamless, actually. Another thing I like is that when you sit down, it feels like smooth. It's still, I still have the same top bottom roll that I talked about earlier, but they're not, it's not overly like pressing in right here, which is my main annoyance with most clothes. I would lounge in these, the fabric is soft. Honestly, the fabric in almost all of these is a lot softer than I remember all of the leggings being the last time I tried them. I don't know if it was because the leggings were on my whole leg and I was sensitive to it, but who oh no. knows? All right, this is the last item. I'll actually try it on with you since I'm not going to be naked if I put it on. Literally, I wish, I wish that I could show how difficult it is to put on sports bras sometimes because I'm like reaching up back here and like trying to pull it down and I just feel like my back is so wide. It, it's just a struggle. So this kind of gigantic, is it flattering? No. Do I care? I don't really know. It's pretty, I don't honestly have a oversized shirt anymore at all because all of my comfy oversized shirts are now just my like regular like loose-ish but still like fitted fitting shirts versus my fitted shirts are now my like really fitted shirts so that's just kind of how like things have changed I don't have any shirts that can just go over my hips and in order I have to have it this big for it to go over my hips most of the time my shirts just end up like this because I have the butt shelf. The fact that this like kind of is flowing, honestly, I might keep it just because it's comfy. Why not? What I would do if I was a clothing company and I was making the oversized shirt thing that I feel like anyone, no one ever stands in the photos like this, like how an oversized shirt looks on like literally everyone. They're all posing like this and like this and no one, no one's standing all day in an oversized shirt like this. This is, this is useless. It's gonna look like this on a normal mid-size, not stick woman. So what I would do if I was making an oversized shirt, this, I would roll it and then I would pinch it up. So you have a little bit, you could see a little more arm. It would have more definition and it just wouldn't be one gigantic baggy sleeve. And then what I would do, because I am a wide-hipped woman, so I know the, the issues that a shirt like this presents, I would take so that you don't have to get something so gigantic to fit over your hips. You can have it a little bit more fitted, but still oversized. I would take this bottom and I would maybe cut it to about, where's the mid of my butt? Like about like here. And I would make it so that this is just open and that way it could flow around the hips easier. So I'm gonna pose like this the rest of the video because that's apparently how you wear an oversized shirt. All right, let's do a quick pros, cons. Price, price is decent. 
The clothes are a lot softer than I remember. The shorts, the specifically the ones I'm keeping, the these ones, they feel as comfortable as the Lululemon Align shorts. Wow, am I even saying that? Yes. Without them being $90, they are comfortable like Lululemon without being thin. Like when you wear, when you wear the Lululemon Aligns, it's basically as if you're wearing absolutely nothing. I appreciate the level of representation on Gymshark's website, although I don't know how some of their models fit their clothes, unless it's super tight and uncomfortable. Oh, what am I saying? What I'm trying to say is, one, their clothes only go up to an XXL, and I am a large. Two, the cover of their website has women whose size, compared to my own, looks like it would be more than just two sizes bigger than me. Three, when you click on an item, the majority of the models modeling the clothing are very thin and not at all like the women on the cover of their website. Marketing ploy or actual effort seems a little sus to me. When you're ordering based on the size chart, I would overestimate your size by at least an inch, especially for the pants. The, the size chart worked fine for my bra. I was on the top end of the mediums. Usually I can fit a variety of sizes. I figured a medium would be fine. In all clothes, no matter what size I am, I've always had issues with my butt and hips fitting. And then the... Lily! What are you... Oh my god. Top fitting in the cup versus band size in all sports bras. I'll probably be ordering some of their Adapt Seamless leggings, like full-size leggings, once the winter hits. When the winter comes... I'm gonna have to make a decision. I'm gonna have to decide whether or not I wear my Lululemon leggings, which I tried on about a month ago and they were a little tight, a little tight, a little, some of my lighter color ones are a little sheer, so, in the butt region, which I, you know, I expected that. But uh, we'll see if I decide they're uncomfortable enough or if I just wait for them to rip, honestly, like just on a squat day, little tearing. It's not like I am doing, my gym things in public. There are even cheaper options if you go on Amazon. I have tried Amazon shorts. Let's have a real talk here. I am very sensitive about how this looks because like my back folds, I'm not the biggest fan, but I accept it. And I know that the way I must judge my body is not the way my body looks compared to other people. The way I judge whether or not I like a pair of shorts is I compare it to a pair of shorts that I actually really like the way they look on me. So I like the way these look the same as I like the way my Lululemon shorts look. So therefore, I like these shorts on me. If you would like more review videos, feel free to hit a like or comment. Let me know if you have a certain brand that you're interested in. I have tried a lot and I emphasize a lot of fitness clothes. I can also do just a general overview of my favorite items from my favorite places. Feel like I'm forgetting something? You want to say goodbye to all the YouTube? Yeah, say thank you for watching this video. Thanks for watching my first review video. I'm still figuring out a little bit of how I want to do things, so I appreciate your support.